Welcome back to Good Day Columbia. Also on Fox, there is a great new library in the area. You've got to check it out. I've actually seen some of the pictures, and this is phenomenal. It doesn't look like uh, your typical library. It's a place you really want to enjoy. You really want to spend some time there. They have a lot of great features. Now, this is Rich and Library Sand Hill. So I'm joined this morning. Um, he's the location manager at this new facility. And uh, this is Jim, Jim Staskowski. Sure, Thanks sir. so much for joining us oh, this morning. Thank you for having us, Britt. So, Jim, tell me what is so great about this new library. Uh, well, this library just moves the library forward in so many, you know, wonderful ways. It's three times the size of our present library. Wow. Three times the technology will have Sunday hours. But that's just the beginning of what makes this library special. It has so many features that make it such a, you know, modern and a vibrant space. We have a 271-seat auditorium, mm -hmm. which will be a hub for cultural programming, wow. educational programming, a place for the community to come together and discuss mm -hmm. what matters to the community. Uh, we have two maker spaces where people can come and learn from each other. Arts, crafts, media. What are those called? Uh, maker spaces. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Maker spaces. So it just kind of opens it up to anything. It doesn't anything. have to be Anything. And I specific. want those to be, you know, buzzing, clinging, uh, happening places. Yeah. Like when you walk in the library, you're always looking towards that maker space saying, uh -huh. what's happening? You know, and somebody will be there teaching something. Uh, we have a dedicated children's area, which is just absolutely gorgeous. What's it we, look like? Uh, it's about 5,000 square feet. It has all sorts of games, blocks, puzzles, oh, interactive cool. things. It has a Lego table, a light table. It has a one-of-a-kind story time room that you just have to see. It has a beautiful felt finish. It's very tree-like when you go in. They're very mm -hmm. cozy and nookish. Uh, there is a studio space in there as well. We have what we call a steam corner, where there's all sorts of grab-and-go puzzles, Play-Doh, mm -hmm. blocks. It's just, you know, I can't wait to get started and working in there and playing in there. It's just a fabulous environment. And, of course, we're still the library. We have all the books we've ever had. <laughs> uh, but you have a lot of extra, too. Lots of extra. Now, libraries these days, especially the rich libraries, <clears throat> are so different than what they used to be. I mean, I feel like growing up, I always loved libraries anyway. Mm -hmm. But too. now it's just, it's, it's so much more than just a library. Oh, it is so much more. And I think libraries have evolved in that. And this library reflects that evolution. I think libraries used to be a place where you came and you got a book, mm -hmm. you got a movie, you got a periodical, you accessed content. Right. I think this library... Use the Dewey Decimal System. Right. Well, right? We, we've, we've changed a little that. bit there. We've changed a little <laughs> bit there. Uh, but I think this new library li reflects a change in libraries in general and that we are now places where people go to create content, mm -hmm. to collaborate, to work together. I mean, this is not only a place for books. This is, a pla this is actually a place for people, mm -hmm. for people to come together and to create. What's it feel like for people who haven't really been involved in uh, any of the events for at the Richmond County Library? You have a lot that you guys do in the community. <laughs> a lot. So when people come into the library, it's, describe what it feels like to be in there these days and what you want them to feel like when they walk into Sand Hills. Well, I want it to be the same environment we've always offered. We like to think of it as, you know, an extension of your home. This mm -hmm. is yours. This belongs to you. Come in, be welcome. Uh, find something you're interested in. We're here to help you. Uh, but it also, I hope it is a place that's unpredictable. It's playful. Every time you come in, something unexpected happens. And what is the, what's what's all of us surrounding the grand opening? Oh, the grand opening is at 2 p.m. this Sunday. Okay. We have PRG music. We have food trucks. We have local artists who will be creating in the oh, building, cool. including Kirkland Smith, yeah. who is doing a artwork for the building, and she'll be doing that artwork over the course of the next couple of weeks, so people can see it come to life. Very cool. We and have, anyone can come, right? Anyone can come. It's free. It's 2 p.m. We want to see. Everybody. Okay, that's and I think everybody wants Sunday. to see our library. So. Uh, if, yeah, if you guys saw the pictures up there, it looks gorgeous. 2 p.m. this Sunday, you guys. This is the Rich and Library Sand Hills. And Jim Steskowski is the guy to go to. Absolutely. Thanks for Come telling by. us about it. Oh. We're excited to see it. Stay Thank with you, us, Britt. you guys. More Good Day Columbia coming up.